What's going on guys and welcome to another reputized video. Once Upon a Deadpool is directed by David Leach and it's basically another version of Deadpool 2. It's a PG-13 version when the original Deadpool 2 was rated R just like the first one. So basically this was the studio's way of trying to rope more people in. This did hit theaters but very little. And it stars Ryan Reynolds, Josh Brolin, and Julian Dennison. And it tells the story of this time traveler who goes back to our time to hunt down this kid, Russell, aka Firefist, and it's up to Deadpool to save him. Warning, there are major spoilers in this video. You were warned. I didn't really have a problem with this version of it. Like Deadpool 2, I thought it was pretty good. It was just weird, like the way they would bleep out the words and the added scene, which had Wonder Years' Fred Savage in it, I thought was pretty cool. They were the funniest, and I don't know, maybe it's the fact that I watched Deadpool so many times that it kind of rubbed off or it kind of got tiresome for me. But I thought the added extra scenes was pretty good. It was funny, it was pretty clever, and it was just basically Deadpool just reading the story to this guy in a much more kid-friendly way. That's basically what this was. It didn't really throw out anything new other than the added scenes. And I will say this also, that the some of the scenes in Deadpool 2, after watching Deadpool 2, the original cut, as, as much as I have, you'll see a difference. They basically bleep out words, certain words, and, you know, like and stuff like that, like I just did. And like I noticed like some of the scenes was replaced by others of what I can assume was deleted scenes off of the original cut. Big spoiler here, get ready to tell a scene because I can't really explain what I'm trying to say otherwise. But at the end, before the final climax happened, Deadpool and the gang went back to the school where the X-Men was. And he was, he was holding up that little phone that looked like had like a radio playing on it. He was trying to get Colossus to go with them to help him out. Well, in the original cut of Deadpool 2, in the R-rated version, he never came out. He stayed in his room. Well, in this version, he actually comes out and starts and talks to him. And he's like, you know, I don't want to be any part of you. You let me down, blah, blah, blah. So I, it's, it's like little scenes like that. And I, I honestly do believe that those were like originally cut from the R-rated version and that they just added in this. And I thought it was okay. I'm not going to get into the whole thing, but some of the scenes I did feel that was a little better in this that was cut out from the R-rated version. They, they just try to make it as kid-friendly as possible. And it, like I said, it's basically the same movie, but... A little shorter, maybe like two minutes shorter. But the chemistry between the characters was the same. There wasn't really that much of a villain in this. At first you were thinking Cable, played by Josh Brolin, was going to be, judging by the trailers, but he actually turned out to be their ally. And there was the the head headmaster of that school, which I guess you could consider him a villain, but he wasn't he didn't have that much screen time. And Russell, the little kid he was only evil for like a few seconds. And then you got the Juggernaut, which I guess you could also consider that was a, a justifiable villain. But again, he didn't have that much screen time. So really, when you think about it, there wasn't that much workable actual villains for this film. The Russell character, I think they improved him a little bit in this version. I, I couldn't really get into that character because he was whiny and he was, he was a little bit of a brat. I just, I couldn't get into that character from the original version, but in this version, the way they cut the movie up and re-pieced everything, it's like some of my opinions and views, even though I hadn't really shared them with you guys, this is the first time I'm sharing them, it's kind of it's kind of different from the original Deadpool 2, but not much, maybe like by two hairs. But Deadpool was still Deadpool, even though he didn't cuss as much in this, he was still Deadpool that we all know and love. It was still pretty good. I liked it. I I didn't really have a, that much of a problem with it other than like some of the scenes that was replaced and then replaced with other scenes instead of having what was in their R-rated version. I guess they, they had to do that to make like more sense of them cutting out most of the bad stuff. And some of the stuff was like faded out. <laughs> like when he was trying to grow back his legs after the juggernaut ripped him apart. You could see his baby balls. <laughs> But in this, they actually, like, bleep it out. Like, when you watch the cops show, 
you see those like disoriented faces. Um, I forget what that's called. Electronically um, scrambled. It, it was electronically scrambled, pretty much. And I thought that was pretty good. <laughs> I mean, it was funny, but at the same time, it was kind of nice because I didn't need to see that <laughs> originally. But still, I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining about the original R-rated Deadpool 2. I still like that one, too. It's just this was its own cut film. With the R-rated Deadpool film was something of its own. But guys, Once Upon a Deadpool gets a B plus. Why do you ask I'm not giving it the same rating as their first one? Well, it's because of what I just said. Like some of the scenes that was replaced, it felt a little out of place when they did that, but not by two hairs. That was it. So thank you for so much, guys, for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. I will have more reviews for you soon, guys. I was going to do a Halloween revisited of the new Halloween movie that just came out, but my throat was giving me so much problems. I never got around to doing it, but I will soon. I really want to get some of my thoughts and opinions out on that. Different from what my original review for that movie was when it was in theaters. Like, subscribe, get reputized. Make sure to share, spread the word, help this channel grow. I do the best I can. I will try to have some more stuff for you soon. Trailer reactions, skits, unboxings. There are more unboxings that's coming up real soon. And I promise you that. What did you think of Once Upon a Deadpool? Did you like the R-rated version better? Or did you like this one better, the PG-13 version? Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think. Peace the rip out.